Uh, welcome back. Let's solve this problem. Minimum cost walking in weighted graph from the weekly contest 392. Don't get demotivated by seeing the description. Try to understand the description clearly. Then you will know the depth of the problem. So uh, after seeing the description, most of them will get frightened and they will just don't solve this type of problems. So I recommend you to try to read the description, then understand the problem, what exactly is asking, then come up with the solution. Now understand that we should understand the description clearly so for better understanding please watch the video till the end i will guarantee you that you will learn something new from this video there is an undirected weighted graph with n vertices labeled from 0 to n minus 1 he is saying that there will be an undirected weighted graph undirected is something with which don't have any directions with n vertices labeled from 0 to n minus 1 and he has represented edges of u comma v where u and we have v and there is some sort of weight between those edges a walk on a graph is a sequence of vertices and edges huh? the walk starts and ends with a vertex so it will start at some vertex and it, it will end at some vertex and each edge connects the vertex that comes before and the vertex that comes after it saying that it's saying simple there are few vertices and there are few edges if you want to reach from point s to point d you need to go you need to go directly he is saying that and you can repeat the same vertex suppose if you have some vertex here you can vertex here and you will go like this and i will come here and then i will go and then i will reach here so you can repeat repeat the edges any number of times the cost of box straighting a node u and ending at v is defined as the bitwise and of weights of the edges traversed during the walk he is saying that there will be weights right w1 w2 w3 and w4 so all this and operators you want to do you want to do and it can be repeated it can be repeated any number of times don't be uh, sorry in other words if the sequence of edge weights encountered during the walk is w0 and we need to do ampersand ampersand operator you are also given a 2d query he will ask query from source to destination you need to reach and you need to calculate the minimum cost of the walking walk starting at vertex s from s to d you need to calculate the minimum minimum cost so after doing and operations you should get the minimum cost and if there are no such work exist we need to return the minus one if there is no work we will see that as well we need to return the answer where answer of i denotes the minimum cost of a work for a query i now let's see now let's see this now we have these edges this, this is my graph 0 to 1 7 1 to 3 which is 7 1 to 2 which is 2 and I want to reach to 0 to 3 I want to go 0 to 3 so how I can go 7 and 1 and 7 I will try to go this this and I will go this so it will be like 1 so I will return 1 and he is saying that I want to reach 3 to 4 3 to 4 I can't reach right so it will be minus 1 so it's simple now let's see this example for better understanding we got 0 to we have built the graph is saying that 1 to 2 so to reach 1 to 2 I can directly reach 1 1 but is saying that I want the minimum I want minimum so these are all the connected elements these are all connected elements and every edge I can visit so if 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 my graph is connected if my graph is connected I can go to any edge I can go to any edge and I can consider any weight and I can do any number of ampersand operations so here if it is connected I can do everything 15 ampersand 7 ampersand 6 ampersand 1 this will be 0 it's simple right it's simple so if it is connected then I can do ampersand of all these elements if it is not connected it will be minus 1 it will be minus 1 so I think you have got it what exactly we are doing let's think connected disconnected what happens when it is connected what happens when the graph is disconnected think think for at least 15 minutes you will get you will get so you can see here the constants are very big 10 power 5 10 power 5 and queries are 10 power 5 you can see for every source to destination is telling that compute this in order of n or not order of n order of 1 and hardly you can go till order of log n not more than that is saying so for queries also we need to fetch the results in order of 1 or order of log n so this is the constraints they are going very restrictive constraints but if you see if you see what we have observed here what we have observed from these two examples is if my graph is disconnected if my graph is disconnected directly I will return minus 1 directly I will return minus 1 if my graph is connected I will do ampersands of all these weights all these weights okay now let's think about DFS 
okay I, you will say i will do dfs but what is the problem with dfs is you need to know start and you need to go till destination and every time you need to go start to destination start to destination you need to go and you can get um, if it is connected if my if it is connected and i need to do all operations and if it is not connected so in simply i am doing this and i am saying this is not connected i am returning minus 1 instead of that instead of using dfs what i will say i will try to use disjoint sets prerequisite to to this problem is disjoint sets i i am hoping that you know about disjoint sets if you don't know about disjoint sets please go and there is a good blog in geek for geeks you can read it out for better understanding of disjoint sets so what disjoint sets says is so it will say that i will try to form components it's simple it will say i will try to form this is my one component and this is my another component and this is my another component and this is my other component and and this will be my uh, uh, for every node between these two nodes my answer will be fixed answer will be some consider a here answer will be b answer will be c and answer will be d for every node if you are getting this this node to this node it will be a only if this node to this node it will be a. because this will be my minimum and you can reach to any part suppose if you are going path from this node to this node it will be minus 1 it will be minus 1 so i think you have got it so we will try to make different components we will try to make different components and we will check and we will check now now let's see the coding part it's simple i will try to explain you first thing first we need we need uh, we need answers right we need answers so what i am declaring is what i am declaring is i am taking weight first parent i am taking parent as you know then we are going with rank compression then we are going with weights then we are going with weights now now first thing we got the vector and we got the queries we got the queries and parent dot push back i because every parent suppose we have elements 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 for every element it will be same parent right 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 every same parent we are assigning it and we are weights we are pushing as minus 1 and for everything rank will be zero initially because there is no connected if it is if there is any connection my rank will increase i think you know this then only i am explaining it if you are new to design sets then it will be very difficult to understand so first thing first uh, then i will iterate to my vector and first i will try to merge i will try to merge you can see merge function here <coughs> first find s and find destination this is my source and this is my destination find s is simple suppose you are getting two nodes suppose you are getting consider i am getting 1 and i am getting 2 1 and i am getting 2 for 1 my parent is 1 if my parents are not equal then i will directly return my parent if my parents are equal directly i will return it because there is no address connected with it so for 1 i will return 1 and for 2 which is 2 so i will return a uh, parent of source and parent of destination will be 1 comma 2 and my ranks i don't care about ranks here because the ranks are 0 and 0 uh, if then it will come here any of two these loops if it is different like if it is 0 it will come to any of this loop suppose this will skip it will come to this loop and we are making parent of source is equals to destination that means consider this as source and this as destination so we are making parent of 1 is equals to 2 parent of 1 is equals to 2 we are making parent of 1 is equals to 2 to increase the computation and to check parent of 1 is 2 parent of 2 is 2 so we are saying that we are in the same component we are in the same component and we are checking the weight if it is minus 1 we are assigning the weight if it is not if it is not we are we are making weight of pd uh, destination and weight and parent of source because i will explain you why this is in the first step consider my 1 and 2 is connected it has some weights it has some weights this concept this has my source and here my rank will be 1 rank will be 1 consider new element i suppose i am getting getting 3 comma 2 3 comma 2 i am getting 3 comma 2 it will come here it will come here it will find the parent for 3 my parent will be 3 right my parent will be 3 for 2 my parent will be 2 but here my rank is greater my rank is greater my source rank is greater so it will come here and it will say parent of pd is equals to source so for 3 it will now my parent was 2 my for 3 my parent was 3 now it will be converted it to 2 my parent of 
थ्री विल बी टू माई पेरेंट ऑफ थ्री विल बी टू विल कन्वर्टिंग इन टू दैट एंड इफ माई वेट्स आर नेगेटिव इट्स नॉट नेगेटिव सो वेट्स ऑफ पी एस इज इक्व टू डब्ल्यू इफ इफ देन पेट वेट्स ऑफ सोर्स दिस इज माई सोर्स दिस इज माई डेस्टिनेशन दिस हैज सम सॉर्ट ऑफ वेट्स राइट सो एम परसेंट दिस वेट्स वी विल डू एंड एंड वी विल डू वेट्स ऑफ पी डी एस एल वेट्स ऑफ पी डी वेट्स ऑफ सोर्स एंड एवरी थिंग सो वी आर मेकिंग दिस वेट्स एंड दिस वेट्स एम परसेंट सो वी आर डिक्रीजिंग इट एंड वी आर इंक्रीजिंग माई रैंक एंड वी आर इंक्रीमेंटिंग माई रैंक इफ इफ माई सोर्स एंड डेस्टिनेशन आर इक्वल इफ माई सोर्स एंड डेस्टिनेशन आर इक्वल देन आई एम सेंग इट इफ इट इज माइनस वन डायरेक्टली असाइन इट और एल्स आई एम डूइंग माई पी एस एम परसेंट डब्ल्यू बिकॉज वेन एक्स्ट्रा वेट कम्स यू नीड टू डिक्रीज द एम परसेंट वैल्यूज राइट टू डिक्रीज इट यू नीड टू एनकाउंटर वेट्स यू नीड टू एनकाउंटर वेट्स नाउ नाउ लेट्स सी नाउ लेट्स सी द क्वेर इज पार्ट दिस इज माई क्वेरी इट्स सिंपल पी एस इक्व टू फाइंड ऑफ एस सो फर्स्ट फाइंड ऑफ एस पी डी इज इक्व टू फाइंड ऑफ डी इफ माई पी एस एंड पी डी आर इक्वल इफ माई पी एस एंड पी डी आर इक्वल दैट मीन्स दे आर इन अ सिंगल कंपोनेंट दे आर इन अ सिंगल कंपोनेंट देन आई विल पुश बैक वेट ऑफ पी एस वेट ऑफ पी एस ऑफ पी डी बिकॉज दीज आर इक्वल और एल्स आंसर डॉट पुश बैक माइनस वन बिकॉज दीज आर इन द डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट एंड फाइनली वी आर रिटर्निंग द आंसर सो आई थिंक यू गॉट इट सो आई ट्राई माई बेस्ट टू एक्सप्लेन दिस प्रॉब्लम इन द बेस्ट पॉसिबल वे If you learn something new from this video please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe you can connect with me on linkedin and i have created a whatsapp community code with confidence you can join there for further discussions and if you have any doubts regarding this problem you can comment it down i will try to help you i will see you in the next video till then bye bye